Hello everyone! I'm here today with a new process video. I'm working on 6x8 pocket page layouts. These are still pictures from Prague. I'm getting closer to the end and I'm skipping around a little bit today. But these are from the facade of St. Vitus, which is the big old church that's on the grounds of Prague Castle. And it is spec spectacularly gorgeous. Never seen anything quite like it. So here is the outside. I want to feature that. And then I've got three photos over here that I've already picked out. I love the store. Look at it. Love it. You just don't see like like doors like that in in this country because we don't make things like that. So I find it very interesting. Here's a slight side view here looking up on one of the corners. And then here is another doorway. Look at this. It's so fantastic. I just, I love all the detail. That's old world Europe for you. So for this photo, I'm going a full six by eight page here. So I have this photo already. And then I have selected this background because I love the way these look together. Obviously I'm going to have to mat this with something. And I don't know that I want white because I really have no other white here. I haven't picked out this card yet, but can't imagine that this is going to be white. So I'm not sure that I want that, but I can't use cream really because I already have that here. And so then that's, you know, too monochromatic. Don't really want black, same problem. And it makes it very dark. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that one, but I know I want to use these two things. So I think my first order of business is to find a card over here because that may help me match what I'm going to do on this side. Okay, so remember how I said, I don't think this card is going to be white. Well, it is. It's blue too, but it's mostly white. And I picked this one because I love that it says epic because that's how this feels. I love that it's got a little blue to kind of match the sky there, a little black to go with this. And it gives me a white background. That's what I've ended up with. So I think I probably will bat this in white. So I am going to go just pull out some of my random pieces of chopped up cardstock and I will find some white to mat this. So I cut a mat to go underneath this just to try it out with the white, but then I decided I might want to also try it with vellum. So I am going to cut a mat for it. If I don't use it for this, I'll use it for something else, but I want to at least try it and see how it looks. Okay, so I have both pieces cut. Let's see what we think. I'm going to do the white first, since I've got that white card. Line it up a little bit there, and then just place it down so I get the general idea. That looks okay, that border, you know, it's all right. Let's see. On the vellum there. Hmm. I don't know that I like that. It's almost like too transparent. I don't think there's enough of a border to really make it stand out. Let's try the white again and just see again what I think. Yep, I like the white better. I'm gonna go with that. Okay, so I adhered the photo in the mat and I decided to make this basically centered. I do like having some empty space here so I can put an embellishment there or stamp or do something. So I will sort of dress that up with something. I just don't know what yet. And then I have to figure out what do I wanna do with these photos. Again, I have some empty space here so that lends itself to letting me do something there but I'm not sure what that would be. These, I love them so much and they're both doors that I think I want them to kind of match by leaving them alone. So that means I have here, here, and then if I want a visual triangle of some kind, I could maybe do something up the top of this card or at the bottom. All right, I have pulled out a bunch of travel stickers and embellishment type things to see if I can find anything that will work around here. I think some of these are maybe like, you know, a little too whimsical, a little too modern to go with this, but I'll sort through it and see what I can come up with. Of the stuff that I had in that pile, I really only found one thing that I thought might work here, and that's this kind of tab here that says explore. And I was thinking maybe I could put it right here against the white mat because it's kind of the same blue and that would match. And then I'm still thinking like, what else am I going to do? Because it seems very flat. And I don't know if I should add some gold 
sparkle by doing splattering. This pattern on the paper kind of has a splatter already, but I could add gold to it to bring out some of these tones. Uh, I have another one too that's kind of like a bronze coppery tone, which might work with this. There's a little bit of orange copper type color there. I'm just not sure, but I'm going to start with this and then assess how I feel about it. I adhered the chipboard piece there and I'm happy with that but I do think I'm going to try a little bit of splattering. I'm going to try to get some up here to bring in the color as well as down here and then on the card and this is the one I'm going to go with. This is Glimmer Mist from Tattered Angels and you can see the color that's supposed to come out there which I think is a nice match to some of this and it is called Light Rosewood. All right so I applied the splattering I don't feel like it made that much of a difference on this side. You can see it a little bit, but it really blends in everywhere else. I did get some there. Shows up a little bit, but not a whole lot. I do like the way that it looks on this card. It shows up a lot better here because of that white background. So I'm definitely going to keep that. But I feel like this still needs something else. I'm not exactly sure what that is. Um, I'm going to go into my washi and see if I can maybe find something that's similar to this color. And just hope for the best. I've gone into my washi stash and I have several here that are sort of that rosewood coppery color. These three really show it, but I don't know how they'll work there. And then this one is kind of a mix. If hopefully the camera's picking that up, it's sort of a mix between silver and copper, which might look really nice with that. So I'm just going to try out some different strips of each of these and see what I think of them. So I've applied some washi here and I'm not sure how I feel about it. I like this one. I did go with this one that was kind of the two-tone option. And then I did a strip up here thinking that would help, but I don't like it. What I think I want to do is try to pry up this piece of chipboard, put a length of the washi behind it, and then reapply this. So cross your fingers that it doesn't damage anything and I'm able to get that off the paper. Yay! I was able to get off the chipboard piece. There is a slight bit of damage right here in the paper. It did tear a little bit, but once I put the washi on and reapply the chipboard, you won't see it. So I think it'll be okay. So I reapplied everything here and I like that much, much better. So I'm going to leave that. Then I have to figure out where can I add some washi on this side to give me a visual triangle. And given where these are placed, it really needs to be probably here or let's see maybe over here. I don't know that it would work to be up here on top and I could still stamp there and it would be okay. I didn't want to cover this up, but maybe I will have to. Maybe I'm going to have to have a little strip right here. This is what it looks like with that applied. There was a little drain spout opening right here and so I thought, well, that's perfect. It's kind of yuck. You know, it matches this one. So I figured I'll just cover it up. And I actually like the way that looks, so I'm going to keep that, and then I am going to just put in a little mini staple here, right there, just for aesthetic purposes. doesn't really do anything, it's just for looks, so I've put that in there, and now that is done. And so now I just have to figure out, do I still want to stamp something here, or do I want to leave this alone? When I was looking at this one to figure out if I wanted to still stamp, I decided I don't because then I've got two elements on top of each other here. And even though these go in a visual triangle, I just feel like that would be distracting. So I'm not going to do it. But then I think that means that this one is done. There's nothing else I really want to add to it. And I really want these photos to shine because they're so beautiful. I mean, look at that. So I think I'm going to leave it as is. And this is another one done for Prague. Thanks for watching.